Hello, my name is Tiago Mata and I'm using a software called Profcast to add audio to a couple of slides I've done uh, about a topic of my interest. I hope this doesn't look too self-indulgent um, as I put it online. Um, I want to say a few things about um, what I call the death of the audience. Um, so I want to talk about the audience in the history of economics um, and I want to make an argument about um, the limits of using um, this notion. To do this, I want to think back to uh, an old argument by um, the philosopher, semiologist, literary critic Roland Barthes um, about the um, author as a entity, as a key to interpreting text. What uh, Barthes does in his very famous essay is to show that the author is um, really a very localized concept. It's, it's not, I wouldn't call it necessarily a myth, but an entity that is um, part of the Enlightenment, um, part of the, um, a particular culture of, of reading and looking at texts. And he sees the author as really a straitjacket to the interpretation of text, kind of imposing um, a particular reading and a particular way of reading, more importantly. Uh, of text. So Barth does a, crit a criticism of the author as key, as unlocking the meaning of text. And in some history of economics, particularly the one that interests me, which tries to see economics in culture, it seems that the same role is being played by the audience. So the audience explains why economists perform certain public acts. They perform it to an audience, to a specific audience. Um, if you think about it, it really comes down to the same idea. It's the author's perception of the audience that kind of determines the performance. But I think this concept itself is quite problematic because the audience is a performance. Um, it's kind of interesting that a, a, a movie has recently come out by the Iranian... Uh, um, uh, filmmaker uh, Kiarostami where he films 114 women looking at a TV screen and he's actually not showing any movie to them but he's telling them to act the emotions of this um, a fictitious movie he's presenting in this case the audience is explicitly performing um, and it kind of takes away the veil of this idea that the audience is somehow um, pure and pristine, something you can hold on to, to understand text. So my first point from which more or less all the other ones come out from is that the audience really explains nothing. At least the audience has this kind of abstraction we got used to. Um, the audience is unknowable to the author, be that the past author or the present author. I have no idea who's going to listen to this and I have no idea um, how people will interpret it um, in my, this particular kind of online lecture. But the audience, if we want to take it seriously, if we want to think about it, the audience are, the audience are actors, they're writers, they're readers, they're economic thinkers. Um, so we can actually move away from this abstraction and take the audience for, from stage and make explicitly the performative aspect of this um, entity in our stories. So as punchline, I want to say the audience is dead, but I also want to say that we need more of it, a lot more of it.